you guys have been complaining about my patch panel in the sense that it's not a blank patch panel and that I should have a blank patch panel. Well, guess what? FS decided to sponsor this video and they sent me one. And not only sent me a blank Keystone patch panel, they also sent me a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't even know what to do with. What is all this? What? What is this? Why is it shielded? We're about to find out. Let's go ahead and just take a look at the Keystone, I'm sorry, the blank patch panel first before we talk about everything else they sent over for this video. So in here is in fact a shielded blank patch panel, which is kind of funny because I don't have shielded cables. So is this overkill? Yes. Uh, is this what I need? Not really, but it'll get the job done for sure. How the heck do you open this thing? Oops. All right, sweet. Wow, this thing is robust AF. So what is this? Cable organizer, cable manager? I don't know what this is, I have to look that up. Sweet, it comes with some zip ties. It looks like it comes with a ground wire as well and some Velcro straps, that's nice. And of course, some cage nuts and screws. Awesome. All right, so what else did they send me? So with this little care package, uh, they also decided to send me some SFTP patch cables. So these are shielded patch cables. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. Let's, let's go, come on. At this point, you might be wondering what kind of keystone jacks I'm gonna be using, and I will actually be using Cat6A shielded keystone jacks provided by FS.com as well. They sent me 24 of these things. So we're gonna try and use as many as we can. But before we can do any of that, we actually have to make room in our network rack for the new patch panel. So I've already decided, mostly out of laziness, that I'm gonna continue using my old patch panel, mostly because everything is already wired up and I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to rewire it. But I am gonna rewire some of these other cables that I have in here that are just hanging around. And I'm gonna add those to the other Keystone um, patch panel, wait, the blank patch panel that FS.com sent. So that way um, we can clean up some of these other wires that are just loosely hanging around here. And I'm actually gonna move some of these other ones around, um, like the ones in my office. So they'll also be on the shielded patch panel. So that way um, I can free up some of these up here for other places around the house uh, that I might add in the future. So I wanna separate, basically what I wanna do is just separate some of the ones that I'm currently using in the house uh, for other stuff in the future, if that makes sense, I don't know. So one of the other things I want to do is remove uh, three of the office ones down, like I mentioned before. So we are actually going to have to rip these out of this patch panel here. And this should be pretty simple to do. You just need to remove this patch panel first.
Holy cow, that was a lot of work, but man, did it seem like it would be worth it. Uh, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. That new patch panel looks pretty dope. And honestly, like, so it's not the first time I've made these keystone jacks, these uh, shieldy keystone jacks, because I made a video on it already. But man, I didn't make a single mistake while using these, and I never do that. With a regular patch panel, I would make mistakes at least one or two times, because I've had to redo my own patch panel like twice, I think, maybe two or three times because of little mistakes after rewiring it a couple of times. And it turned out great. I, I, didn't, I didn't make a mistake. The only thing that sucks is if you do make a mistake on this thing, man, you're gonna have a bad time, because you have to like take the zip tie off and redo everything and that's just going to be a total bear but the way it's designed even though it's kind of very manual trying to get the wires into each of their little slots um turned out to be very easy i don't know if it's easier than a punch down but i i mean considering i didn't make a mistake i guess it was easier but i don't know i guess everyone's gonna have their own opinion of what is actually better punch down or a system like this uh honestly i uh I like this. I, I would do this again. And we are going to do this again in the future uh, because we actually need to run more cable in our house, more Ethernet cable in our house. So you will see a return to that. As far as these uh, Cat6 shielded patch panel or patch cables go, or patch cables go, I thought I was going to hate them because they have the barcodes on them. But honestly, uh, they managed to somehow still look pretty stylish and good. Um, I definitely like the way they're designed. Like, they don't bother me at all. I used to really like Ubiquiti's cable, but after seeing this, I kind of don't like it, especially the way they bunch up. Um, it's not terrible, but like, just because you get all this excess right here and this little bendy thing, wow, really cool. Uh, it kind of make my rack look a little bit uglier. So I'm gonna see if I can replace these blue cables with some FS cables instead because I think I definitely like the way these look more. Uh, you guys let me know which ones you like more or if you just prefer other brands in general, but I think I'm gonna buy some blue FS cables if they have them. So I'm gonna go check that out. And speaking of buying things, if you guys like anything you saw in this video, um, be sure to check out the link, links in the video description below. That'll really help me out and uh, or the channel in general. And, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much all there is to say. Uh, I really appreciate all of you guys watching because it makes videos like this possible. And without you, there would be literally no more content because I've kind of finished my home lab endeavors for now, if you will. But I guess there's always more little improvements that you can make, right? So uh, FS, thank you again for sending this equipment to me. Uh, I really much appreciate it and I look forward to seeing all of you on the very next video. Cheers.